Here's why just training harder might actually be making you slower after 30 years old. According to a study by Rayburn and Dascom in 2008, aging has a profound effect on endurance performance. And that starts as early as 30 years old. Here's what changes in our body. VO2 max and capillary density decreases five to 10% per decade, meaning it's harder for our bodies to be more aerobically efficient. Mitochondrial function and muscle mass decrease as much as one to 2% per year after the age of 50, which means our ability to create power decreases. And our recovery capacity and adaptive response to training is slow, which means we can tolerate less hard training and need more time between training sessions to recover and get faster. But it's not just a linear decline every year. Endurance performance and age have what they call a curvilinear relationship, meaning that as age decreases, endurance performance decreases at a more rapid rate every year, eventually compounding into a very rapid rate after 60 years old. And our data backs this up. Looking at our database of athletes of all abilities in over 150 countries around the world, there are 33% less athletes above 4.5 watts per kilogram in their 40s compared to their 30s, 65% less in their 50s than their 40s, and 84% less in their 60s than their 50s. But that doesn't mean we should just give it all up. One thing consistently pointed out in studies is that this reduction in performance is almost always paralleled by a reduction in training volume and intensity. Now I hear you. Coach Jonathan, didn't you just cite research that proves that we can't tolerate as much volume and intensity? Yes, but if you do a few specific things, you can likely hold on to much more of that performance as you age, or at least not slow down as much as your friends or competitors. Here are a few research-backed training recommendations for master's athletes. Number one, double down on recovery through sleep, restful activities, and nutrition. People do tend to train less as they age, but think of it this way. If you trained 15 hours per week when you were 30, and now you're 40 and only training 10 hours per week, dedicate those five hours per week that you lost to things like getting more sleep through earlier bedtimes or naps, or spending more time getting fresh ingredients and preparing nutritious meals, or spending that time doing stretching, massage, or relaxation exercises. Instead of just losing all of that time and energy you used to put into training, reallocate it into recovery. Number two, increase your protein intake. As you age, your body becomes less efficient at utilizing protein to rebuild its muscles and get stronger. However, increasing your protein intake has been shown to reduce at least some of this decline. Shoot for 1.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. And if you want to experiment with as much as 2.2 grams per kilogram, that has also been recommended in some cases. And the third and final one is limit the number of days you are doing high intensity interval training every week. Even though it was commonly suggested for years that the only thing masters athletes needed to do was to have shorter loading phases in their training, research has pointed us to a much more specific approach of just limiting the number of days in which you are doing high intensity interval training each week. For athletes over 50, limiting it to two days per week is almost certainly going to be the best approach. And if you're younger than that, but carrying a really high training volume, like plus 15 hours per week, it might be worth trying. The reason this helps is because it forces you to have more time in between hard workouts to recover and adapt. And that extra recovery time also means you'll be able to go deeper on those harder interval days, sending an even stronger stimulus for adaptation to your body. Now the cool part is Trainer Road can take care of this complicated part for you. Just connect Strava or Garmin Connect to Trainer Road and it can analyze your entire training history in seconds, giving you the right balance of training and recovery that you need to get faster. Give it a try risk-free for 30 days at trainerroad.com.